It's big and it's pink. And for decades, Casa Bonita was Colorado's go-to pleasure palace for kids. Usually when we came here, it was a birthday. I felt exotic when I came here. It felt like I had gone away. And since those housing and days, Casa Bonita has occupied an extraordinary amount of space. Wow, Casa Bonita! Woo-hoo! In the psyches of South Park creators and Colorado natives, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Ever since we started, the building, we have named our office Casa Bonita. It's like fate. Fate would mean Casa Bonita's closing down and bankruptcy. They had to buy it. And I said, yes. And he goes, I know, but don't get to I mean, We don't know yet. I'm like, yes. And I was just like, we're doing that, yes. To be kind, Casa Bonita had seen better days. It was a wreck. The idea of these two guys buying it was funny, a kind of extravagant gag, or so we thought. So this is without irony, then? It's not a joke. And that's the thing is it, it, it had become a joke. And we were sad that it had become a joke because you could see what this place was in the 70s when they built it. You know, they were trying to make a little Disneyland here. We're here, Casa Bonita. Oh, man, this is going to be so great. 20 years ago, Parker and Stone immortalized their love for Casa Bonita in a South Park episode. I feel like Cartman a lot here, you know, just going in, and we could do this, and we could do that, you know, we could do that. It really is. Watching, watching Trey walk around and get, have, and, and, well, the role, the emotional roller coaster of doing this, you know, he's, yeah. he's feeling it as much as, as Cartman would. You know? <laughs> this is almost like restoring an important national I, landmark. Yes. It's not almost. Yeah, yeah it, it was. Is. Oh, it is. Yes, it is. And yeah. restoration is a, be, is a better word than renovation because right. it would cost way less to just rebuild this, right? Or make a better version of it down the road. It makes me wonder what that number is. It's close to infinity yeah <laughs> it approaches infinity we toured the giant restaurant slash joy factory to see what infinity dollars can create a lot of cool stuff like any construction project there was a punch list this one a bit bigger than most you can see there's some stuff being checked off and there's some stuff not checked off and yeah it's only a hundred don't worry about that we're good we're yeah. good don't worry, about that. don't worry about that the cliff divers were showing off the day we were there yes there are cliff divers the old 70s look of swimwear back they made these custom for us we always believed cliff divers performed to distract us from how bad the food was to the rescue a new chef James Beard nominee, Dana Rodriguez. People mentality is like, we still have the same menu, yeah. but now it's true food. Rodriguez possesses a kind of personal superpower reflected in her sopapillas. See? Perfecto. Sopapillas! Can I get some sopapillas, please? <laughs> Parker and Stone figure they'll need about six million customers a night to break even. So be reassured, they are not leaving their day jobs. So of uh, my uh, favorite recent episodes was the one about the Canadian royalty. The prince and his wife. <laughs> we want privacy. We want privacy. Yes. Right. Canadian royalty, yes. Canadian royalty. Just because I'm Canadian royalty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that just broke through. I mean, every English person I know was ca calling me like at every single one you know what i mean <laughs> and what were they saying to you i mean thank honestly you. they were thank you they were saying thank you as much as people think that south park we get in a room and go okay who can we make angry and who can we piss off it's not it's how can we make people laugh can you do this forever you'll find interviews of me <laughs> at, at age 30 saying well it's not like i'll be doing south park when i'm 40 years old you know so it's like it really is like we get back in there and we get just kind of back to our roots it's actually i think honestly healthy for us now